so all of the kitchen spots are in position I actually wonder if the diameter of that hole is not too small I guess I'm going to find out when I cry because now it's gonna be very difficult to make those holes bigger and make them look nice but yeah and when the drywall is up it's gonna be even more painful uh, so I tried not to hurt the the woolly mammoth there uh, too much but uh, yeah uh. oh my god got mixed a little bit all right so next uh, next up is the same story in the in here I guess it's just gonna be a one lamp however here I have to remember that this wall is disappearing right and there will be no more uh, no more stairs uh, so that means that uh, the, the middle of the a uh, of the corridor here uh, the entree uh, is actually somewhere else right than today however there's also gonna going to be a huge as wardrobe on the wall there so it's triple quadruple head fuck however let's just figure it out so the wardrobe is I guess 60 so then I'll just get the measurement and roughly place a couple spots uh, I guess I will be attacking two spots for two lamps here here and there somewhere so yeah that's the next job so the wall is on this side eating the lot 10 centimeters up of here. So let's say it's about right here. Two, three, four, two, four, which means that one fifteen and one fifteen again, or, or thereabouts. Uh, yeah, and here the first one is going to be one twenty, right? position.
so I was quite uh, happily working downstairs, insulating the wall, trying to make it watertight when it started raining on this supposedly sunshiny as day. So plan B is to jump up here. Maybe I'll still go downstairs and check if I can continue downstairs because tomorrow it's supposed to be raining, which means that I would uh, prefer to be up here. Uh, but there is plenty to do everywhere, so it won't matter in the grand scheme of things, right? So, obviously I went a little too hard on that side here. Uh, and I did that because I am stupid, mostly. Uh, but the story is that this side, there is all two layers already, but there is no uh, none of these pipes for the electricals. So the pipe edge needs to be added today, right? So I made those holes, they are now placed everywhere. There is one there and I just have to now brain through it and uh, plan where the, where the pipe pipes need to go and uh, all of that good stuff. All of that good stuff. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is start on that side, deliver that, uh, that roll here so that I can stick the the, the pipes through the, those holes or the first layer of insulation and uh, start connecting stuff into the either into the switches where they will uh, wherever they will be or to the main board right uh, which is in the in the up in the corner there and then tomorrow I have to tackle the kitchen uh, kitchen exhaust fan right there will be a pipe going into the corner there, so the plan is to, unfortunately, to remove these nicely laying layers or strips and move them to this side when this side is fine, finally piped, piped through. All right, so yeah, let's just continue and continue. So it's the next day. Last night uh, and yesterday I was used at insulating the walls or the the insulation of the exterior walls of this house with 20 centimeter 20 centimeter uh, woolly mammoth is uh, complete now um, but today it's raining and it's supposed to be raining until uh, like 1 uh, p.m. yeah 1 p.m. Uh, so that is the a perfect time to uh, smash uh, these electricals here and I cannot, uh, you know, uh, I've been procrastinating this because it's a, it's a job I'm not enjoying yet because I never did it before. Uh, so, uh, however, it's a good start here. So I started by placing pins wooden pins through in the spots where the pipe edge is got to be. I don't know if you can see this one there. There is one, there is two, there is three, and there is the fourth one over there, right? Which means that now I can just start with the pipes. I have my tape with me and I have a marker pen. The tape I have to Somewhere. So let's have a tape. And also, I brought with me two pieces of wood. So, here is the old access point to the loft, right, which I am uh, going to exterminate now. Uh, it's not needed anymore. It's going to be open and will be on this side. There will be a sneaky, sneaky entrance there if anybody ever needs to come here. Um, so this, I have two pieces of wood and I just install them. One here and one there. Screw in position, bang in position with, with some nailing. I have some nails with me, which I'm going to use. Nail that quickly into position and uh, proceed. So I am marking all of these uh, all the piping.
so a couple hours later and uh, the electricals for the corridor the entrance and the bathroom are in position all right so let's have a quick look So I installed these here in position. And then uh, these are going. This is the outlets and light for the bathroom uh, bedrooms. There is a couple of these going in that direction, right? This is the light, the heated floor, and also a switch in between. So I wish to have. I wish to be able to turn off the light in here, right, from the kitchen. So when you walk in, you have your groceries or with you or whatever, you don't have a free hand. You don't have to walk all the way back, even though it's just four or five meters, right? So from the kitchen, you will be able to turn that light off. Uh, the switches are located there. Then in there is the main uh, meeting point where most of the most of the pipe which is uh, getting uh, in and then there is the light for the bathroom there uh, so now the plan is to install these two strips right and then i can start moving this from here over there and start smashing down the kitchen so i'm jumping into the time lapse now and uh, it's time to crack on <laughs> 